today we are going to design a bottle a shampoo bottle in the solid works so we are go going to use the uh, sweep command so we have to draw a path and a profile and some guidelines so open the sketch the unit must be in inches open the sketch on the front plane and the first first sketch will be just a simple line this will be our path so the dimension is seven inches so just draw a line exit the sketch and we are going to rename this sketch this sketch is path okay again we have to open the sketch on the front plane and we draw a guideline so for that guideline we, first we have to draw a center line so auto track this point like that and we have to define the dimension between these two lines between this line and this region so it is 1.75 now we have to draw a sketch a line select the line from this point i'm going to draw a line and we have to add a relation between this point and this region so select these two point by pressing the control and wouldn't and we want them for having the horizontal relation okay so this line it has the dimension of 1.5 and then we select the three point arc from the uh, arc tools we select the three point arc so we select this point and then just random randomly this point and we draw a line like uh, arc like that again three point arc select this point go at this position and draw a line like draw arc like that just auto drag it here again three point arc select this point and point here and draw arc like that now again select a sorry the arc three point arc select this point and a point here and draw arc like that and from this this point we draw a center line like that a horizontal center line and define the dimension from this line and this origin or line this is 0 0.5 okay next we have to add the relation so relations and dimensions so smart dimension and add the dimension of uh, radius of 1.5 for this line the next thing is we have to add some relation the concentric uh, sorry the tangent relation between all of these uh, arcs and this line so we select this line uh, this arc and this arc we add them a relation of tangent between these two points and we select this arc and this arc and add a relation of tangent between them and we select this arc and this line and add a relation of tangent between them like that and we select this arc and this arc and add a relation of tangent between them and we select this uh, arc the top arc and this line the center line and add a relation of tangent between them okay next we have to make them equal so select this arc, this arc, this arc, this arc, and we want to define an equal uh, relation between them. So all of these uh, arcs have the same radius of 1.5. And this top, this top uh, uh, point or this top point, we select this point, press the control and select this point and we want them having the relation of horizontal. this point and this point like that okay next we have to see this point is not fully defined okay so we have to make all the lines and the uh, arcs 
the the arc and the line which are touching each other they must have the relation of tangent so by defining the tangent at this point you can see we fully define this sketch so this way this line and these arcs this one and this one must have the relation of tangent and this arc and this line must have the relation of tangent we can also show it here so you can see we have the tangent relation between these lines and these arcs and between these two arcs and they all have the equal radius exit the sketch no this is the the sketch we just draw it it is for the guidelines now again we have to open a sketch on the right plane open the sketch on the right plane and this time we have to draw another sketch so first of all we are going to draw a line so auto track this origin point draw a line like that a line like that and then we have to select the arc the three point arc select this point this will be the first point select this point add a arc like that and again three point arc select the point this point and a point here and add a arc like that and next we have to add a center line from this point and just drag it like that and now we have to define the dimensions and relations so from this point to this region it has the dimension of one inch and from from this point to this line it has the dimension of 0 0.5 like that and we want this point must be horizontal with this this top with this top so we want this point and this point they must be having a relation of horizontal like that and we want this line and this uh, sorry not lines this arc and this arc having the relation of tangent and we want this arc and this line must have the relation of tangent and we want this arc and this line must have the relation of tangent like that and next we have to define another relation so for this relation uh, we have to select uh, and this point this point and this point these two point uh, must have the relation of horizontal okay and next we have to define the the diameter of this arc so this must be 1.5 and this must be 1.5 or we can add the relation of equal oh sorry This must be one and this point and this region they must have a relation of horizontal so at this point our sketch is fully defined so dimension of uh, this arc is uh, 1.5 but uh, the dimension of this arc is defined when we put the relation between this line and uh, this point and this point so that is our guidelines okay exit this sketch and we are going to go to the isometric view now we have to open the sketch on the top on the top plane and here on the top plane we have to like in that that view or we can go for the normal view so it must be shown like that because we are making the sketch on the top plane so at this point we have to uh, draw ellipse so select the ellipse so this will be the center of the ellipse and we want like that like that so for the ellipse we have to add the relation so basically we want this point having the relation with this point and this relation must be Select this line 
this line and this point and we want them having the relation of wires and same for this line and this point we want them to have the relation of wires like that so now you can see this is fully defined so this sketch this sketch sketch 4 it is our profile profile we can give it the name of profile and the other two sketches this sketch its guide one and we can rename it by just clicking twice left click twice and this is guide two okay so now we are we have the path guide one guide two and five so go to feature and we want uh, we want to use the swift base boss feature for this portal so open the guide curve so first of all we have to select this one it's asking about the profile so this is our profile and this one it's for the path so this is our path so uh, simply if we select the profile and path this will be the our shape but what we want we want uh, to use uh, this path and profile also following the guidelines so first this one this is our first guide and this is our second guide so after selecting these two guidelines the review of the solid body will be changed so now you can see it so there is uh, uh, no difference if uh, which you provide which guideline you selected first so that is the that is the review of the solid body and you can see that we achieve the shape of our model by just simply using the guidelines so click ok now the base feature of the border is complete we just have to add some uh, other features to make it a complete bottle so open the sketch on this on this face and use the convert identities and select this top edge so it will be converted into a circle now go to feature we want to extrude this this sketch for one inch exit this sketch now this is the this is complete next we have to use the fillet and we want to make this edge round so add the diameter or the radius of this fillet fillet and we want to make the asymmetric asymmetric uh, fillet so the first one is 0 0.375 and the second one will be 0 0.250 Exit it and next we have to next we have to select the shell use the shell command to obtain the obtain the final shape of this bottle so it must have uh, this uh, the inner material will be removed and uh, the only only thickness we are going to mention here uh, will be appear in this design so it will make the hollow design so how much will be the thickness so we are going to use 0 0.05 so now you can see the whole bottle will convert it to the hollow the inner material is moved the only thickness which is 0 0.05 is here okay next we have to add some threads so for the threads first we are going to use the generator plane so at this point we want the plane in the other direction we have to define the distance of this plane 0 0.125 so at this point at this place we want a plane and we are going to open the sketch on this plane and we use uh, this inner diameter and use the convert in that place so this will be the main diameter of the ellipse now hide this plane so select this sketch and use the ellipse and spiral and mm, select the type of uh, defined by we want to define the helix by the pitch and revolutions and for the pitch we have to define 0 0.25 and 0 0.2 and how many revolutions we needed we have to select 2.5 2.5 times and for the angle we have to put zero 
and we need it clockwise to change the direction of this helix in in that direction okay for this short angle we have to put zero clockwise direction okay so now we have this uh, this helix open the sketch on the right plane we have to draw the profile of uh, profile of profile of the threads so draw a line like that and like that move cursor of the line this point so you activate the uh, arc command and line like that now we have to add some angulations and dimensions so from this point to this point the circumference this point the midpoint of this arc this dimension we have 0 0.75 oh sorry this dimension is 0 0.075 The catch is smaller. We have to drag some points to make it a small sketch. Like that. And this diameter is 0 0.040. Okay, the angle between them. We have to define it's 25 and we have to draw a center line from this point to the middle of this line. So we draw this line. This line is not vertical, but we needed a vertical line here. So select this line and add a relation. Make uh, sorry, make horizontal. We needed a horizontal line. This line must be horizontal from the center of this, uh, this circle to this end point the midpoint of this line and now we need, needed to add this symmetry relation so press the control select this line and this line and at the end select this center line and you can see a symmetric relation appear here so we want a symmetry relation between them next we have to add a relation so select this this uh, helix and press the control and select this midpoint and add a relation piles so now the sketch is fully defined so exit the sketch and use the swift base boss so the file is selected sketch 7 and for the path we select this helix so it will add the threads on the portal just like this one so this is complete next we we have to make this this face a uh, round shape so we just simply open the sketch on this face on this face and we use the convert identities and convert this face and the edges will be converted into a sketch and exit the sketch and now go to the revolve we want to use the revolve to make it a round shape a closing shape so for the for the axis of revolution use this axis and now you can see it is passing passing at this side here you can see so basically we want to merge this this revolve up to this surface so use the angle 120 so now it's just passing this surface but it is not going inside of this model so exit it now we have we have this uh, this face a uh, round shape again again we have to use it for the other side to make it a uh, round shape so this side so open the sketch on this face and use the convert identities this whole face exit the sketch go to 
revolved and for axis of revolution select this face and we need it 120 degree so now we have completed uh, the, the sketch the design of the model and we can add fillets of uh, 0 0.5 Zero two to these Why can I, why we are not able to add the okay? So the design is complete. Add the fillet for the sharp edges if you want, and this design is complete. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you learn something new, please comment. And if you want me to make a video of any design just just comment and send me the drawings of the design i will make the video thank you so much subscribe my channel